Even after being informed by the National Infrastructure Development Company, NETCO, through a letter that Brazilian construction firm OAS Constratura, the firm charged with constructing the Sir Solomon Ho Choi Highway extension to Point Fortin, was experiencing financial crisis and had filed for judicial review. There was no acknowledgement by the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure. During a joint select committee meeting on land and physical infrastructure on Thursday, officials at NITCO were asked whether the letter was acknowledged. Chairman Herbert George said there was never a formal response from the ministry to NITCO. In the letter, NITCO informed the permanent secretary at the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure at the time that NITCO recognized that the contractor, OAS, was experiencing financial and resource difficulties which were impacting on the project. Considering this, the company devised strategies to ensure continuity of the project and connectivity by introducing suitable experienced local highway contractors to be employed as nominated subcontractors. There is something else that is happening here. The government of the day formed what you call an oversight committee. And that oversight committee had six ministers and three uh, or four senators in that committee. One of the objectives of the, of the committee was to ensure that proper monitoring and evaluation was undertaken and that the country receives value for money output. Mr. George was then asked to name the ministers of the committee. The chairman of that committee was Honorable Kamala Prasad Bisesa, the Prime Minister. The, Hon the Honorable Stephen Cadiz, Minister of Trade and Industry. Honorable Winston Dukaran, Minister of Finance. Honorable Dr. Rud Rudal Munilal, Minister of Housing and the Environment. The Honorable Chandra Sharma, Minister of Local Government. The Honorable Jack Warner, Minister of Works and Infrastructure. Senator the Honorable Emmanuel George, Minister of Public Utilities. Senator the Honorable Kevin Ramnarain, Minister of Energy and Energy Affairs. Senator the Honorable Dr. Bohindrat uh, Tiwari, Minister of Planning and Economy. And the Honorable Stacey Rupnarain, Minister of State in the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure.